it's about omni-channel and people also talk about digital transformation. I prefer to talk about customer-centric transformation. Um, omni-channel is fine as a terminology and really what, it, what it's intended, I think, to do within the industry is to describe a joined up experience for customers. But customers don't see channels, they only see experiences. So I prefer to think of it in the context of customer-centric transformation, but it's really about enabling customers to shop and engage with a retail business however and whenever they want. That means buying online, having it delivered to their home, buying online, maybe using click and collect, picking it up in a retail store physically. It might mean going into the retail store and placing an order and having something shipped directly to their house. So what it's doing is it's essentially empowering the customer because that's really what it's all about. That's the, that's the way things have changed in the last 20 odd years. Customers are now in control and as retailers we have to work out how to join all parts of our business together to deliver the right type of experience. Well, you say that everything's being digitalized and to some extent that's true because digital is now playing a big role in store as well. But stores are not going anywhere, right? Um, if you'd asked me even two years ago, for example, the UK is now the most mature online market in the world with roughly 20% of all retail sales being made online. Now that varies in fashion, for example, some retailers have 30, 40% of their sales online in other categories, electricals, it might even be more than that. In some other categories, it's less than that. But if you'd asked me a couple of years ago, I would have said by now, we'd probably be at 50% of sales online in most categories. We're nowhere near that. And I think, we're a, I think we're a while away from that yet. So the physical store's not going anywhere, but they have to become more experiential. So stores have to change in two ways. They have to be able to leverage digital technology to make it easier for people to buy. And they have to bring the experience to life to create true retail theater that gives people a reason to come into the store rather than buying online. Stores are not going anywhere. Stores will never, stores will, stores will never die. Absolutely not. Um, but they will be, you know, there are, I think they're a hugely important part of the multi-channel proposition that customers are looking for. Many customers, and for a lot of different businesses now, don't only want to buy online, also like buying in store. And again, it provides that opportunity for that personal touch point, for that ability to serve customers in a very personal way and to deliver a very, you know, a, a different type of experience than the one you're gonna get on a website. Because you can bring the brand to life, you can be more experiential, you can create an environment that's much more interesting and engaging than just a, than just a website, if you like. Well, again, it's about understanding how customers shop now and, and the first way that we start our journey as consumers now is on a mobile device right. <clears throat> and there's still a lot of retailers don't have particularly well optimized sites in terms of the customer experience on mobile so if i were thinking about e-commerce and digital today i would think mobile first with everything that i did i wouldn't be thinking about desktop i'd be looking at what sort of mobile experience do i need to deliver because i know that my customers their first touch point with my business is highly likely to be through a mobile device. In the UK, something like now, on average, 70, 75% of website traffic to all the sites in the UK starts on a mobile device. And now roughly about 45 to 50% of the e-commerce transactions are made through a mobile device. And that's only going to increase. So if you think of it in that context, I'd always be thinking mobile first. And how can I use mobile not only from a transactional perspective, but when customers are looking, for example, for store information, when they're maybe out and about shopping, how easy do I, I make it for them to find where the store's located, the hours that that store is open, the products that are available in that store. So it's, it's really thinking about it in that sense. And then, and then making sure that irrespective of the channel the customer wants to buy from, that the experience that they have there is as frictionless as possible. So how do, we move, how do we leverage digital technology to make it easier for people to buy, to remove the pain from their journey?